like from RPG here. Obviously, I customized the unit, so it's not exactly the way it looked when I first got it. So I basically bleached this hair, colored this hair, cut this hair, and then just showed you guys what it looks like which is now so I do really like this hair guys um, obviously like I said it's not black like it was before so I basically went from doing a black unit to a colored unit um, I want to show you guys the potential of some of these companies because sometimes when you get virgin hair and you try to customize it yourself you run into problems with shedding the hair losing its texture etc etc so with RPG hair I had no issues with this hair at all I bleached it for 30 minutes using 40 volume development and just a quick white powder and it bleached like this I then went in with the hair dye from Adora I used two bottles of paprika and one bottle of copper red for about another 30 minutes in the hair process like this hey guys how's it going so I'm sorry if you guys can hear the air on in the back it's really hot in my room so I had to just blast that up so today basically in the title as you can tell I'm coming back today to fix a mistake on a wig so if you watch my last wig Wednesday video and I'll attach it up here somewhere I did kind of mess up the part really bad so basically what I did was I redid the whole entire unit and I'm coming back today to show you guys how to fix a mistake on a unit now the color and everything was great but the parting space was terrible and I did read your comments and I do take the comments into consideration regardless if it's negative or positive I want you guys to put your comments down if it's constructive criticism I do take that into consideration the other comments them things slide off me like butter I don't care but uh, you did got you guys did give me some constructive criticism on the unit so I wanted to come back and show you guys how I fixed it this is a learning channel so I'm not a professional so I'm trying to um, show you guys how to fix it if you guys had the same issue. Um, I did go and re-dye the wig with the color uh, 37 Deep Burgundy from Revlon Color Silks. So the hair is not the same color, but the style is cute, the color is cute, and the parting space is not tragic anymore. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I fix this wig, I would like you to stay tuned and keep on watching. So this is the final result of the hair and what I've done with it. I am totally, totally satisfied with this look. It almost looks like I went back to like a black or natural color bob look, but I have to come up close to show you guys. It is a deep burgundy color. Obviously the other color has pulled through some ways through, so therefore you'll get like a little bit of lighter spots, which kind of looks like an ombre effect in a way. It's really, really pretty guys. It's like a nice deep burgundy and I just love it. I kind of wish I would originally went with this color, but me bleaching it the first time around showed you guys the potential of this wig company. So this is the second color process that I did on this hair and the hair is still to its fame and glory. Like it's like I really don't know what to tell you guys. If this video is not how to fix a wig when you fuck it up kind of video then I don't know what to tell you guys because this wig is completely different from the last wig that I did. Um, and I'm actually really proud of myself because I kind of usually I start giving up after a while so I didn't give up this time and I transformed the wig to something that is really nice really fall inspired and I'm very very happy um, I did go fix the parting space I did a curve part this time and I just added a tiny bit of powder and I didn't use mascara this time to kind of play with the part which worked out perfect I did do baby hairs this time around the perimeter just to make it a little bit more fancy um, but overall guys I'm very satisfied with this unit I did go in and trim just a tiny bit on the ends to give myself more of a clean blunt instead of that kind of messy blunt that I had before 
I do like it curled. What I noticed with this hair is that when it's washed, it does have a natural wave because it is body wave. So that's one good thing about the body wave texture from RPG hair. It does have a really natural body wave texture when you wet it. So if you want to wet this, it'll come out kind of like a nice wavy look and just add like some... Um, products to kind of keep the wave and it'll be really pretty but for now I do like the straight look I think it looks really nice clean and fresh for the fall so I'm really really happy and I'm really happy and proud of myself for redoing this this is a learning channel guys so I'm happy to help so I hope this video helps you guys it is hard when you're coloring here and you make mistakes because you almost think that you failed completely but I actually came through with this unit guys so I'm very very happy I hope you guys enjoy this video bye guys